You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a brand new face from BayWeb, Brockton Area Workforce Investment Board, Dave Edwards from YouthWorks uh, Mentoring Program, correct? Yes, correct. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thanks for coming on. Now, I have a poster. Uh, it doesn't have Uncle Sam on it or anything, but it <laughs> says, we are looking for mentors. Correct. Okay. What exactly are you looking for? Correct. So, um, so several years ago, the um, U.S. Department of Labor, um, along with uh, JFF, which stands for Jobs for the Future, um, identified different areas uh, where they were going to um, kind of disperse money. Um, so uh, YCC is a grant program designed to bring together our public school district, um, local colleges and workforce development system to equip students for college and careers. And so that's kind of where the whole mentorship piece came in. Uh, so in the onset with this grant, the goal of it was that uh, the first year would be uh, kind of a pilot year, so a planning year. Um, and that in the second year of the grant, we would start to connect young people who were in the STEM program with uh, career mentors. Uh, and so that's kind of where we are with the grant right now under Youth Career Connect. Uh, so right now, my job and my goal, uh, alongside with the Brockton Public School, is, is to uh, take 50 students who were in the first cohort, who are now sophomores, and to connect them with career mentors in three particular pathways. So first pathway would be healthcare, mm -hmm. second pathway, advanced manufacturing, and the third pathway is uh, information technology. Wow. And it looks like you're not looking for an incredible time commitment. You're looking for interested people that, for example, did attend a mentorship day that you have. Correct. Uh, it says minimum of one conversation with the mentee per month. Now, if Correct. you get someone that's really motivated, they're going to be more than that. Exactly. No question about that. <laughs> um, it, they're, they're, it's, it's not hard to get involved. All you got to do is, you know, to do the standard, like, core reform like you do Correct. whenever you work with youth. Correct. That's, in, that's important to make sure that people are safe. And then looking at this, it says, you know, participate in internships, job shadowing, things like that. What did I leave out? You know no. it better than me. Yeah, so, uh, so what we're looking for in terms of the mentors, we're looking for a 12-month commitment. Mm -hmm. um, as you mentioned, with that 12-month commitment, the goal would be that they would at least be meeting with uh, their mentee quarterly for a face-to-face -face meeting. Um, what essentially would be the launch for this mentorship relationship would be Mentorship Day at Brockton High, where they would have the opportunity to be paired with that mentee on that day, um, and which would kind of start off this uh, mentor-mentee relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, you know, not only would we be asking them to commit to those, you know, quarterly face-to-face -face meetings, but each month out of these 12 months that they will be uh, in relationship with their mentee, we're asking them to at least ha uh, get in contact with them. And this could be through um, email. Mm -hmm. um, it could be uh, through a phone call. Um, so, you know, so they basically from month to month, they would be communicating with them outside of those face-to-face -face meetings. And I would think if they want to, they could be at their place of employment? So as of right now, no. um, we actually are, are, are setting the meetings to be at the high school. At the high school. Okay. Um, so we're still, it's kind of in, still negotiating how that exactly is going to work out. Um, it would just require some additional uh, things in order for them to be meeting outside one-on-one uh, -on -one with the student. Uh, which, of course, would, we would need parent consent as well as uh, possibly fingerprints. So it's something we're still discussing and are hoping to potentially discuss with some of the people who sign on to be mentors. So between the mentors and you have the students, the students are already part of a cohort, like you said. Correct. They contact you, correct? Uh, the mentors? Yes. Yeah. So if, if, if anybody's watching and, they, and they're interested, they would contact me directly. My information... Um, is there. Say it. So my information is, is basically, uh, um, you can email me at David Edwards at BayWeb. So that's D-E-D-W-A-R-D-S uh, e at BayWeb, and that's B-A-W-I-B.org. All right, and my phone number at the office is 508-584-9800, extension 30. Um, and um, you just ask for David Edwards, and uh, I'll be able to give you more information about uh, the uh, YCC program. And right on the flyer, we have a quote from President Obama. Correct. I like it, so I'm going to say it. A world-class education means preparing every young person with the skills they need for college, career, and a lifetime of citizenship. We call it youth 
career connect. Correct. Couldn't have a better spokesperson than that, <laughs> I think. <laughs> exactly, okay. exactly. Um, you, you're all pumped up. You're all excited about this. Yeah, I, I think it's a great opportunity for our young people. Um, you know, one of, the, one of the key things that STEM really kind of focuses in on, um, or the YCC program specifically that I love, it's the combination of rigorous academics with um, techn uh, technical experience, right? So it's the idea that it's, it's the best of both worlds, right? They're gonna get a great education, mm -hmm. which is rigorous and, um, and you know, maybe at sometimes tedious, but is, is essentially preparing them for not only college readiness, but career readiness. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's, it's putting them in a position where they're going to be accelerated, right? So it's the idea that for a lot of, um, for, for, for a lot of us right now, we, when we're looking at, uh, you know, an older population in science and technology, um, in mathematics, there'll be a point in time where they'll need to retire, right? Mm -hmm. And so there's somewhat of a gap. And so what we want to do is, is to fill that gap. We want to make sure that we have our, our kids educated and trained um, to be able to someday fill the gaps that are going to be opening from people kind of leaving that, that field of work. Well, um, you couldn't have better partners. Brockton Public Schools, uh, award-winning school system. Massasoit Community College, and in full disclosure, I teach there, so I love Massasoit. I've been there for a while. And Jobs for the Future, great organization. Put Correct. all of you guys together, and you're going to help the students succeed. Correct, yeah. And then, the, you know, the other thing for a lot of those students is they'll get dual enrollment. So that's where Massasoit comes into place. Um, for all these kids that are in the STEM program, they'll have an opportunity to be taking classes in high school as well as over at Massasoit, credit. which will prepare them for college. So by the time they graduate from Brockton High, they'll ha already have 12 college credits. Uh, so you, know, you can't ask for anything better. I think no. it's a wonderful program. Um, and as I said, it's just to prepare them, you know, for them to have college readiness as well as career readiness. Well, we'll keep following it. We'll, uh, yeah. we'll promote it and uh, we'll try to be there on the December date too. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Thanks right. for being on Greater Thank Brockton. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Okay. You're All welcome. Right. Uh, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.